Hi everyone, my name is Frank, and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day 176, and it's June 25th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1953 musical film, Kiss Me Kate. Now in each episode of A Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster, and I place it to the side of me. I do this because, well, I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. Uh... In saying that, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1953 musical film movie poster to Kiss Me Kate. Okay, uh, this is a musical. Why is a guy spanking a woman on the movie poster? Like, it's Kiss Me Kate. Shouldn't there be like a romantic thing going on? Why is this guy punishing this woman very badly on a movie poster? And this came out during the 50s, so this is very, you know, suggestive towards a movie poster. The guy's just... Spank a woman <laughs> movie poster. That's why I had to take a double take when I was doing the uh, the intro before. Wow. Okay, I, I see some, you know, the poster and all, but I can't look away from that image. I, I don't know what this musical has in store for me, but this has to deal with something. So I just can't wait to sit down and watch the 1953 musical film <laughs> Kiss Me Kate. Now, as I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1953 musical, Kiss Me Kate. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching Kiss Me Kate, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. But, I don't give out any major spoilers about the movie, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film itself. The reason why I don't do either or two is so you can enjoy the film for what it is, and not have any major spoilers or anything to ruin the film for your enjoyment. See, I don't want to do that. I want you to enjoy this film just like I'm about to for the first time. Unless you've previously seen the 1953 musical Kiss Me Kate. If that's the case, then please substitute this movie for something else. It doesn't have to be in the same genre of musicals. It can be something whatever you may pick. Just so that you can enjoy a film with me for a movie a day challenge. And possibly, you know, watch each film with me as I go along. So pick a film that you've never seen before and enjoy it. In saying this, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1953 musical film, Kiss Me Kate, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 1953 musical film, Kiss Me Kate, and I want to let you, the viewer, know that this is an okay musical. I say okay only because my own or viewership of the film, if you want to call it, I didn't start liking the film till it was in the other half, towards the middle of the movie itself. The first part of the beginning, just didn't particularly care for. It's got an interesting story, believe me, it does. But the music within the first part of the film and the beginning of the storyline is just a little uh, for my liking. It's perfectly fine, this is my opinion. You may have something completely different. The story, however, does get better within the middle of the film towards the end, and I really enjoyed it a lot. In fact, the music towards the end, eh, you can go either way, either liking it or not, but to be quite honest, the music is okay towards the end as well. So it's an okay musical film. However, I really did enjoy the acting between the cast of people in the film, and I really enjoyed the action between everyone on stage and uh, on stage on camera. And I, I really enjoyed their interaction with, you know, each other. That made me feel happy about the film being okay. I have yet to find a film that was completely bad towards being a musical. But to be quite honest, I'm just glad that this part of the film that I enjoyed, of the cast interacting with one another, made me enjoy the film a little bit better. I could have said something negative, but I choose not to. To be quite honest, would I recommend Kiss Me Kate to a friend or family member? Probably not. I don't really think anyone that I know would be interested in watching it, but down the line someone might be interested in a film such as this, I might recommend it. But for right now, 
I don't think so. Would I watch Kiss Me Kate again? I really don't know. I'm leaning towards no, but you never know in the future. You know, like, oh, you know, I might give it another shot, but right now, I don't know. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen Kiss Me Kate and liked it. Maybe you've seen Kiss Me Kate and didn't like it. Maybe you haven't watched yet. You're going to go ahead after this review and come back and write something. Whatever the three may be, tell me. Whatever you're feeling in the comment box down below towards this movie. Let me know. And as you're doing that, you see that subscribe button? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now tomorrow is day 177 of a movie a day challenge. And I'll be watching the 1936 musical film Showboat. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day 177 and the 1936 musical film Showboat. I will see you tomorrow.